The Tourism Minister Mamaluko Kubayangubane is taking the domestic travel activation campaign to the Mpumalanga province. The minister will be visiting various attractions around the province, including the Kruger National Park, in an effort to showcase some of the province's hidden gems. For more on this, I'm joined by the Tourism Minister, Mamaluku Kubai Ngumani. Uh, very good evening to you, Minister. Good to have you with us. So how has your day been in Mpumalanga today? Um, I, I guess you are wearing not only your hat as Tourism Minister, but also your hat as a tourist. Definitely. Good evening, Tami. Good evening to your viewers. Um, it has been quite exciting being here in Pumalanga, showcasing what is unique. I mean, what we have been able to do going from one province to the other is to be able to pick what is unique about that province, showcase it to South Africans. Um, we've been to uh, God's wind, um, not God's window. We've been to three rendezvous, seen the scenery there. We were in. The, we are currently still in the Kruger National Park where we are hosting a gala evening as part of fundraising. But during the day, we were here in the park as well, um, where we were able to have our breakfast um, by the train and also showcasing what we've got within that. This is a new investment facility which is above 150 million um, that has been invested by Tebe Group um, that are looking at bringing a different perspective or a different feel to travelers who will be coming into um, Kruger National Park. As you drive in, coming to these events, going to breakfast and being able to see the accommodation that is being concluded, it's such a wonderful thing because you get to see the animals themselves. So we've been able to go around, we've been to the townships, we've been able to interact with township tourism as well, facilities, get feedback from them in terms of their experiences, the challenges that they have and what they would want to see from us as government. You'd know that COVID has hit the tourism sector hard and one of the reasons I travel is to be able to get the feedback in terms of how the sector is recovering and if there are anything or still things that we need to do as government and be able to act from that point. And what has been the general reception from South Africans as far as their readiness and their willingness and level of comfort as well in going around the country in the midst of um, the COVID-19 pandemic, considering that we actually are still on lockdown level one? South Africans have heeded our call. Um, many of the attractions are visited across the country and even here in Bumalang. They've been able to tell me that when we made the call that we are open and we are we're coming back to business, September became a very hectic month for them. They were able to start seeing their businesses generating an income. We know now in the November month, because most of the families, the children are writing exams and it's a bit of a downturn. So what we are currently doing, we are talking to the establishments to understand if how the plans or what are the plans for festive season, specifically Christmas and New Year, because it's also a peak in terms of domestic market. So we are learning that the numbers are picking up. So I do know that there are people who have been saying to me in other areas, they've tried to book already. Some of the areas are fully booked. They're not able to get accommodation. And I can still say that since yesterday, we were having quite a number of rooms available. People are booking now. And we're hoping that this area as well before Christmas will be fully booked so that the establishments as well can have a leeway or a way of surviving beyond here. Minister, now that the borders are, are pretty much open and the tourists from outside uh, the country beyond our borders are able to come into South Africa, what type of measures have been put in place to ensure that the virus is not exacerbated in South Africa? I mean, we are seeing the trends in the United States quite alarming at this point with over 100,000 new infections being recorded um, every single day. What measures are we as South Africa putting in place to make sure that post the festive season we don't find ourselves in a pandemic dilemma? Um, obviously the first thing is the 72-hour test um, that a person 
doesn't have COVID-19. The second thing is the screening at the ports of entry that is being done, especially when you look at our international airports. We still remain with um, Deben, Cape Town, and OR Tambo as the major um, international travel, traveling arrival point for us, and that is assisting us as a country to be able to manage um, the numbers as they arrive for the port of health to be able to assess the travelers as they arrive. But from tourism point of view as well, we've been able to ensure that we've got health protocols in place, that we have communicated to our private sector, we've in, or communicated to all those who are uh, establishments where the travelers will be visiting, to make sure that we do not become the spreaders of the virus. And as I travel from one province to the other, one of the things that we get to do is to check the level of compliance, and I must say the feedback, and what I'm seeing, I'm, ex I'm, I'm really happy with it, because our sector has taken the heat, they've listened to us, and they are ensuring that when they set up, for example, in restaurants tables, there is social distancing. When you arrive at the entrances, there is screening. When you arrive at the entrances, there is sanitization. You look in the halls, you look at how they serve the menus, they are following the health protocols, and I am excited about that. I am happy because it shows that we are working together, both ourselves as government and the sector. Now back to where you are now in Mbumalanga, there is the annual Mbobela Jazz Festival that many flock to. This year is the, the fourth one. What are plans regarding that for this year, considering that it is COVID-19, and how is that going to be rolled out? Um, the Jazz Festival will happen in December. This weekend, what is happening is that we, we had a golf challenge the, to, this today where golfers were playing. We are currently inside the Kuga in a hall hosting a gala dinner as part of fundraising. The fundraising resources will be channeled to schools to support children who are needing school shoes, but also supporting young people, especially young women, who are needing sanitary and dignity uh, packages so that they also, those who come in from previous or who come in from disadvantaged communities are able to be given that dignity that they deserve. So this is an initiative to support as part of tourism led by Amy Singomani, who is the champion of this initiative of fundraising for disadvantaged communities as a charity cup. Um, one of the things in terms of the music festival, um, the music festival will definitely have to comply with the um, uh, health protocols. You note that we, have, we hosted an event as part of Tourism Month where we celebrated our Tourism Day in um, Cradle of Humankind, uh, Marupin. You would have noted that we were able to put the measures to showcase that as tourism we are leading it from the front and we are showcasing how music festivals can be hosted in a safe manner. And that will continue with the, current, the upcoming Jazz Festival. And where to now, as far as your activation campaign is concerned? What, what is the rest of your itinerary? Um, we, we are left with a few provinces. Um, next week, uh, the team, because we're now moving to expand what we are doing. So South African Tourism will host some of the um, celebrities, will run some competitions, which will encourage South Africans to travel. So they will be heading to Northern Cape, and this will be a bus that stops everywhere, showcasing and sharing, and having various media, pl media platforms who will communicate what we are showcasing as part of our route to Northern Cape. The other province that I will be visiting will be uh, KZN, that I will be visiting to do in terms of showcasing um, what KZN has to offer beyond Deben, because we understand that many of the people know what is central about Deben, but they get to forget about the other parts of KZN. And uh, my focus as the minister has been to showcase the areas where they are in the rural areas, the townships, remote areas that are not necessarily known popularly, and that's our focus. So we will communicate other provinces that we are going, because we're doing this in partnership with the MECs. Once they confirm the dates, we will communicate. 
Before I let you go, you spoke at, at, earlier on about the hidden gems that one can find in, in Pumalanga. Which have been the hidden gems for you that you would recommend uh, for South Africans to, to try and visit if Mpumalanga is their destination of choice this festive season? I would say the shalati comes out tops for me right now. Um, it's unique. It's a, you can come in, you have a breakfast on the train, and you can have, like, spend a night on a train which is stationed. Um, this is a, a very, um, one of the historic uh, area where it's a train that used to, because in the past, when you came into the Kruka, you couldn't drive in. So people used the train to come in, and within that carriage, they would get off and then get to move in as into the Kruger National Park. So that has been kept as part of the museum, as part of the heritage, and now has been converted for somebody to have breakfast on, for somebody to be able to go in and spend the night. And this is a new product. Um, the restaurant is opened now, but the accommodation will kick off. Bookings are open for them, that's what they shared with me, but they will kick off that from the 14th of December. So I hope many South Africans will get to be in the Kruger. Those of us who are not comfortable with camping, there is an alternative that you can have within the Kruger National Park. One of the few, I think we don't have anything like that where a station train is standing. We do have the trains that are moving like your blue train and all that. But this is unique within a nature. While you are sitting there or while you are sleeping as you wake up, you are watching the animals, you are watching hippos, you are watching rhinos and the big five within the Kruger National Park. One of the most exquisite uh, experiences. Mpumalanga is known about its scenery and I don't think it can be disappointing if you come here. I, I must say, Minister, as you are recounting all the various animals that one can see, you already feel like you're on safari ready uh, to go on holiday as we speak and I don't know if this is a conversation you might have already had with the, the owners of, of facilities it's been a tough year for so many many have lost their jobs and perhaps issues of affordability will come into play what are the prices looking like this festive season are they going to be charging top rand or are there some good discounts uh, for consumers for South Africans and travelers feedback that I'm getting which is positive is that the sector is hitting my call to start looking at two tier of um, pricing international market pricing and domestic market pricing um, as I'm saying when you go to Shalati and many of the others when I spoke to them they've already started implementing that they're running specials across so I do urge South Africans to look out for that inquire about uh, local prices and uh, many of the establishments are giving me feedback that they are considering that this product that I've just spoken to in terms of accommodation has a special price for South Africans so they are hitting the call to understand that South Africans do not carry dollar, do not carry euro, and therefore with our rent we still want to enjoy, but also supporting the tourism sector, and this is exciting for me. Ah, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Minister. Enjoy the rest of your time there uh, in Pumalanga. That's a tourism minister, Minister Mamaluku Kubai Ngobane. Uh, good news there that your rand is likely to take you further this uh, festive season.